Before we get into the video, if you have not entered the subscriber challenge league, go click on this video, comment down your name, your number, and your preferred position to go into the draft that will be happening in the next two weeks. Get on board, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another Jettiverse Giants My Coach video. Today's video, we're taking on the Fremantle Football Club. Uh, we had the big win over the Cats in our last video. Probably one of the best games we've played all season. Uh, you can see here the Cats are 14 wins and 6 losses. We are currently sitting 5th, so we have a massive chance if we win this game against the Fremantle Dockers. They're currently sitting 18th at the minute. I mean, this would be a massive upset if Freeman will get the job done. They are currently 7 and 13. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to show you guys the ladder. Uh, the top, I'd say, 15, who probably genuinely have a chance to play finals. West Coast are all the way down there below the lines. I mean, this is a very weird ladder. You've got North Melbourne in there. You've got, Mal uh, you've got Essendon. You've got Melbourne. Uh, Port Adelaide, Hawthorne all rounding out the top eight. And Carlton knocking on the door. So like I said, we win this game. There is a massive chance we could definitely push uh, into finals, the top four contention. I uh, also wanted to show you just some of the stats. Jeremy Cameron is leading the Coleman medal. He's kicked 50 goals. Um, a few good weeks from Jeremy Cameron um, have resulted in him to lead the Coleman. And just showing you some of the stats, Tim Taranto is leading our contested possessions. He's been an absolute beast this season, uh, Timmy Taranto. I really liked his game as we get into team selection against the Fremantle Football Club. Now, like I have been reading everyone's comments. out. There was a few comments where people were saying, hey, maybe we should rest a few players. We're trying to get the top four. We can't really rest a few players. Now, I have decided to rest one player. He's played every single game this season. So out of the team this week goes Jeremy Finlayson. He's been really good. Um, just It's going to be a wet weather game, so I didn't want to go too tall. So I brought in Liam Ash, Liam Ash. Uh, he is going to be replacing Finlayson into the team. But Finlayson will return, just giving him a rest, uh, trying to get him nice and ready for the finals. So this is the team that we take on the Fremantle Football Club, who are currently last on the ladder. Uh, like I said, this would be a big upset for Fremantle to get the job done. We win this. There's a massive chance we can finish top four. It has been an extremely inconsistent season for the JWS Giants. I'm not too really, I'm not like too sure where we're at at the minute. Uh, we've got the massive win over Geelong. I feel like we play down to the level uh, of the teams that we verse. But it is the Giants and the Dockers. We're playing at uh, Jedwish Stadium, Giants Stadium. It's a terrible conditions game. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, the video. Finals are fast approaching. I mean, we've got one more week and then the finals are here. We've got to keep winning. We could finish top four. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Anthony Hudson. Football back at Giant Stadium. And joining me in the box for some special comments will be Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. Expecting some really special stuff here today. Today's match between GWS Giants and Fremantle. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. It's a big day for the Fremantle defenders. They can stop GWS Giants from being dominant inside 50. They've got a big chance to win this. Converge for the toss of the coin. These line. So let's get this underway. Have a look at this weather. It is horrible. We're underway from Giant Stadium after our massive win over the Cats. So we started this game out. Uh, this Fremantle football team, even though they're last on the ladder, they definitely have something to prove. Have a look at their pressure here, which results in a beautiful kick inside. They find their man, and the Dockers have the first goal on the board. Now, this has a... I just had a feel this game had a massive chance to be an upset, just considering the weather. We can't really move the ball on clean, but they go inside 50 yet again. They are putting our back line under so much pressure. If we won this, if we win this game, there's a massive chance we could definitely rest some players coming in the next weeks, but the Dockers are off to a perfect start. They've kicked the first goal. 
Uh, H kicks his first of the night, and the Dockers have too. But this Giants team, Sammy Jacobs has been in some pretty good form lately. Takes a nice intercepting mark. He goes inside 50 here with a chance for the Giants. Taranto, who was big, couldn't take the mark. He gets tackled, but out the back. Have a look at our pressure. Toby Green, DeBoer, picks it up, runs in, and kicks the first for the Giants. So we are on the board. One straight six plays two straight 12 early on in this game. Let's get in. We're following on here. Stephen Canelio, some really nice play here from the Giants. Taranto is just being involved in absolutely everything. You can see Toby Green all alone. Beautiful snap inside. And Toby Green takes the nice mark. Green goes back. Green kicks the goal. And the Giants are away. So a two straight apiece here early on in this game. Uh, considering the wet weather conditions, I thought it'd be a much a lot worse. But this Fremantle team actually pretty impressive. I mean, I think they've had a lot of injuries this season. That's why they're at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, but they were applying all sorts of pressure here. You see Michael Walters uh, take the free kick. And just no pressure whatsoever from our defense. And have a look at this. They take another mark. Akers takes the mark inside. Uh, where is our pressure? Where is our defense? And Akers kicks the Fremantle's third goal. 3-1-19 plays two straight 12. Heading into quarter time here in the first. We go inside 50 here with a chance. Hamling on Cameron was actually unreal. He was just stopping uh, stopping him at all facets in that first quarter. So the Dockers lead the Giants by seven points. They've definitely came here to play. They are definitely not uh, giving this game up easy. 3-1-19, the Dockers to the Giants. Two straight 12. Lockie Whitfield, four disposals. And Tim Taranto uh, has the three disposals. Let's get into this second quarter here. And the Dockers get off to the perfect start. Fife gets tackled. We can't play. A... Look, at our... Look at the run from Freeman. I mean, they were definitely pressuring us. And they have come to play. So four goals in this first half for the Dockers. We go inside 50 here. Chip over the top. Toby Green takes the nice mark. Uh, he's got players on. And that's a beautiful kick. He finds Callum Ward. He takes a nice mark. The two leaders of J21 votes link up. Callum Ward with the chance here to kick the Giants third. He gets the goal, and we're still... In, I mean, I didn't feel like we're out of this game, but this Fremantle team gets on an absolute roll, and it's got a massive chance for a big upset. They go inside 50 here. Another chance for him. I mean, they were applying so much pressure. Matera misses. They had multiple opportunities in this quarter. I mean, 4-4-28 when Tabernar here. A beautiful rover of the pack. Beautiful rover of the tackle. Snaps towards goal and kicks a big one for the Dockers. They're out to a 16-point lead. And with this wet weather conditions, any lead is big in these terms. Have a look at this beautiful tap down uh, from Tabernar, which went straight to Taranto, who couldn't get it away, and Tabernar kicks a goal. So the Dockers here all over us. Walters goes inside 50 here. Nice spoil there. I think that might have been um, core, but at the back, beautiful roving again. McCarthy kicks another, and Fremantle are on their way to one of the biggest upsets of the year. They are not giving up here. They are not letting up. Fife gets it along, taps it along. Dockers have the numbers you see here. We're getting absolutely wrapped up in all the tackles. We're under so much pressure, which results in another opportunity for a goal for the Dockers. And Chera kicks another 46 plays, 18, if you can believe it. The last place Dockers all over us, and they are not done. Chera for two in a row for the Dockers. Runs in and slams it home. So the Dockers are away in this match. I was a bit starstruck. I didn't know what to think. 52 plays, 18. Cali here. This sums up our first half. Has a shot on goal, and it goes on the full. So this definitely, like I said, sums up our first half. A very disappointing half from the from the Giants. We just got to be better. I mean, 53 plays, 18. You cannot uh, be. You can't show up if you're a top five team and play like this to the bottom place team. 35 point game. The Dockers lead four, lead by. We need a big response. Three straight, 18 to 8, 5, 53. Whitfield, Canelio, and Core being good. Taranto really stands up in this third term. So watch this third term here. Uh, Tim Taranto really puts his stamp on the game. But this Dockers team not giving up. We go inside 50 here. Taranto takes the mark. He has a chance to kick a goal. I mean, he's a long way out. 53 plays 18. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, we come out flat in this game. I think this is one of the games I thought would win. Taranto lines up. Mundy, though, takes this on the line, if you can believe it. No Shepard there. But here come the Giants. Daniels chips it over the top. He finds Toby Green. Now, I knew we had a little bit of a comeback in us. I knew we definitely would fight back. Green goes back, kicks the goal. I mean, we only kicked three goals in that opening half. We needed to respond in this term. But the Dockers just have answers. 24 plays 53. They go inside 50 here. And Walters, Nick Haynes, cannot get to him. Off the ground. He kicks another. And Fremantle still hold a commanding lead in this third term. Disappointing to say the least. Here come the Giants though. Toby Green for his second of the term. What a pickup. Look how clean that was in wet weather if you don't mind. Let's have a look at that instant replay. Toby Green kicks an absolute beauty to give us a little bit of hope here. 
five straight plays nine five. Look at that pickup from Toby Green. Runs in on the left also, if you don't mind. Kicks a beauty. Giants not giving up. We go inside 50 yet again. We got an opportunity to take a mark, and DeBoer stands up. Now, DeBoer was pretty good as well in this game. He goes back, kicks the goal. It's back to a five-goal game. I mean, 36 plays 66. Five straight kicks to get back in this game. We only kicked three in the opening turn, but we definitely were uh, putting up a little bit of resistance in this second half. We go inside 50 again, and Hopper taps it down. We've got opportunities here. Hopper can run in. Chera's right behind him, but Hopper snaps on the right foot, kicks another. It is four goals, and we are still in this match. 42 plays 66. This Giants team are definitely not giving up. We're definitely not going to let this... Fr I mean, Freeman on the last for a reason. They can't just run all over us for the entire game. Hopper runs in, snaps the goal, but we've got to be a lot better than this. Daniels gets pushed in the back, I thought. They paid holding the ball, so Freeman will decide to switch here. They switch inside. Connor Blakely takes the mark, and a beautiful tackle there from Tom Green, which results in a free kick. He goes back, he slots the goal, and we are back within three goals, if you can believe it. We are applying all sorts of pressure on this Freeman team, and we are not done yet. Himmelberg gets the tap down, and who, who else? Codwell goes inside 50. Cameron hasn't been sighted all day, takes it on the chest. Big mark for Jeremy Cameron. He goes back. He kicks the goal. And the Giants are still in this game. It's back to a two-goal game. We are well and truly in this game. And we are completely not done yet. But have a look at this tackling from the Giants. Our tackling pressure start to get up. Taranto again. He has been absolutely everywhere in this term. Unfortunately, he couldn't kick the goal here. But he has been unreal. 55 plays 66. One goal to bring us right back in it. And look at this ball movement from the Giants. Some beautiful tackling. Some beautiful pressure. Which results in a high tackle here. Hopper for his second goal of the term. He kicks straight through the middle. It is a one goal game after being 36 points down. The Giants are well and truly in this. But at the three-quarter time buzzer, the, the Fremantle Dockers have a chance to kick a goal on the siren. And that is the story of the day. David Mundy kicks a goal as we head into three-quarter time. A 35-minute quarter, if you don't mind. 72 plays 61 as we head into three-quarter time. A seven-goal quarter to the Giants, though. So we definitely did respond. Taranto was unbelievable in that term. He definitely came to play. Toby Green was also really good in that term. Canelio's been good. 10-1 to 11-6. We really need to win this game. We cannot lose to this Dockers team. Inside 50 here. DeBoer takes the mark. Kelly spots him to bring us back within five. I definitely thought we'd run over the top of him. And DeBoer kicks the goal. Giants are within five points. We just couldn't get past this stage. And once DeBoer kicked this goal, Fremantle just had the answers once again. Why is there no one in the goal square? Jesse Hogan bounces that through. And the Dockers just answering when it matters here. We're at the half uh, back line when Fremantle... Look at their transition play. This is something uh, that we definitely need to improve uh, in our in our actual in our future uh, videos, I'd say. I don't know how Jeremy Cameron didn't touch this. But Tim Taranto has just been absolutely unbelievable in this game. I mean, Fremantle's handballing was disappointing there, and we managed to counter on it. But 73 plays 78 when the Dockers here handball over the top. Where are our defensive runners? Where is that happening? Tabana kicks the goal back out to 11. Every time we, we challenged here, Fremantle's had answers. So 93, uh, 73 plays 90, I must say, when you can basically say this is the nail in the coffin. Conker kicks the goal. And uh, just this caps off a disappointing game. It was a flat game from the Giants. You see here, Sammy Jacobs runs inside 50 with a chance here. Jeremy Cameron punches it down. Just has handlers over his head. He does, which results in another goal to Tim Taranto. Tim Taranto, stand up, take a bow. He definitely kept this in this game. Now, we were... I mean, I did say that was the nail in the coffin, but we had opportunities. 21 minutes to go. Toby Green misses to the right-hand side. That would have been goal number four for him. Now, have a look at this from Sammy Jacobs. A little bit of... A little bit of inspiration. I mean, look at this. The big man picks it up, runs in, kicks one of the goals of the game. It's only 10 points. I mean, I definitely thought we could run over the top of this Fremantle team considering how much time. I mean, if this went for a bit longer, I felt like we, we would. So Sammy Jacobs kicks the goal. We're still a chance. Look at the weather of the ground. 26 minutes have gone when Callum Ward turns on the Jets, has a bounce, runs in, kicks the goal. Four-point game. We're still a chance. There is still a little bit of life. When they go inside 50 here, this is our last roll of the dice. Sammy Taylor takes the mark. Got to take the game on. Decides to take it on. Has to go up the middle here. 92 plays 96 with a chance to win. And no, Hamling, who's been so strong all day, he takes the mark, switches the play, and that is all she wrote. What a disappointing performance from the Giants considering the finals are one week away. We get defeated by last on the ladder, if you can believe it. 15-2-92 to the Dockers, 15-6-96. An up-and-down game. I mean, 
They led by as much as 36 points. We got within five. We got within four. We just It just wasn't enough. They definitely deserve the win. This would have been a steal if we got the job done. Taranto was unbelievable, though, in this game. He gets the five votes. Toby Green gets four. I thought he was good. DeBoer gets three. Sammy Taylor in the back line was really good. And Callum Ward, Mr. Consistent. He gets number one as we go over and have a look at the leaderboard as we close this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A disappointing performance. Finals are fast approaching. One week to go. Toby Green has now secured J21 votes with the 40. Very exciting. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, disappointing performance. We will bounce back. Make sure to comment down below the changes, and I'll see you in the next AFL Evolution 2 video. Ah!